Hello traders, Jason here with SwingHigh.com. It is Wednesday, January 20th, 2010, and this is your post-market analysis. As you can see, we had a sell-off in the markets today, but uh, finished on some strength, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, here are the major indexes. The financials down 0.3%. The SPY, the uh, S&P, down 1%. The Dow down 1.1%. The NASDAQ down about 1.3%, and the Russell's down about 1.4%. So it's nice to see the financials being the strongest sector. Um, that is a, actually a bullish sign, although I would have liked to see the Russells uh, much stronger today as well. So that's what I'm seeing uh, across the indexes. Let's take a look here at the S&P 500 tracking ETF, the SPY, spiders. Um, this is a 15 minute chart here. And um, as you can see, we sold off pretty strong today or this morning on some good volume and then held up here at uh, the expected support area which we had drawn in here from before as you can see going back it's been support a few times already and um, so naturally we held up there which is good to see put in a nice double bottom formation uh, it was confirmed right here around 145 and after that breakout we put in a slight high base formation broke out of that again and then closed uh, with a small rally here which is nice to see on some volume um, let's zoom out to the daily chart oh uh, another thing to note is that we did not fill the gap we just gapped down and then crashed and uh, didn't even uh, uh, basically we didn't recover from the sell-off in the morning either so a gap down no gap fill and uh, almost a full recovery but it is nice to see that bounce on the daily chart of the S&P um, we did break down out of the rising wedge and the volume today was pretty strong so that is a little bit of an ominous sign however at the same time we did still hang up in this high base formation as you can see we are still trading sideways um, after this this move higher so that is a high base and uh, yesterday I was talking about um, so many bullish things that could go on we could break out of this high base and run to 120 well that's exactly why you don't enter early um, it's set up bullishly for sure but uh, if you got in uh, too early which means if you bought yesterday at the close or if you uh, planned to buy this morning you definitely got hurt um, that's exactly the reason you don't enter uh, a formation early you may see it set up bullishly but you need to wait for confirmation in this case I would like to see a close above the highs above uh, uh, the 115.20 area, um, a close up there would be more of a confirmed, or would be a confirmed breakout. Um, of course, I would like to see it close higher, maybe 115, you know, 75. But uh, that's exactly the reason you don't enter uh, long or short any uh, position or any setup early. You got to wait for the confirmation. Um, so that's what I'm seeing there. I wanted to show you guys this game called Chart Game. Um, this game is very, very addicting. Um, unfortunately, you can't draw uh, trend lines on it, but you do have all of these technical indicators on here. And uh, you basically see a setup uh, that looks sort of like a, a bullish pennant breakout or a high base, so you can buy. And then you kind of scroll along and let it do its thing. And then down here, you're. Uh, your performance is tracked and you can see your track record and stuff and it's pretty cool um, so definitely check that out if you're interested in practicing some technical analysis um, let's go back to the real world here and um, tomorrow we have jobless claims natural gas and petroleum status those are probably going to be market movers if they are big surprises in either direction um, also watch the Philly Fed and the leading indicators they're not as big but they are consensus reports the, uh, the numbers today came in a little worse than expected. Nothing too big of a surprise, though. Um, just basically a sell-off today. We pulled back from the highs. And uh, I still could see us chopping sideways here, um, putting in more of a high base formation, and then still see us breaking out. But do be aware of the fact that we did break down out of the rising wedge, technically. So that's something to note as well. Thanks for being a part of SwingHigh.com. And I will talk to you later.